What's up guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own arrow. All you're going to need is a quarter inch thick wood pole, a 2.5 centimeter wood screw, and some duct tape and some electrical tape. So the first thing you're going to do is just cut the wood pole at about two and a half feet. You can do it any way you want, I just tried to do it with a utility knife and then I ended up using scissors. Then once you finally figure that out, you just uh, you're just gonna roll out a long piece of electrical tape about as long as the arrow, and then you're just gonna uh, like roll the wood pole onto the electrical tape. This is just to strengthen the arrow and to give it a little bit more weight. Uh, the one piece of electrical tape doesn't fully fit it, so I just added two. Uh, depending on the thickness of your wood pole, you're probably gonna need two though. Then once that's all set, you're just going to roll out uh, a piece of duct tape about four inches long, and this is going to be the fletchings of the arrow. Uh, so just put one side, one piece of duct tape on the underside of the arrow, and then one side over that. And then once you're once you're done with that, you're just going to cut the fletchings to fit whatever you you feel like they should look like. I only use two fletchings uh, for my arrow because I'm firing through a sling bow, um, but if you're firing through a standard bow, you should probably use three because it just uh, it stabilizes it a lot more. Uh, by the way, a sling bow how-to build was coming soon. Then I use green electrical tape to wrap the uh, beginning of the fletchings in the end, just in case it hits the dirt or anything the fletchings don't rip off. Once you're all done, your arrow should look something like this. Then what you're going to do is put a little hot glue on the tip of the arrow and add one of your wood screws.
This took a while for me to get it to stick, but once you're done, just add a little bit of electrical tape to the tip to reinforce it. Once you're all done with that, your tip of the arrow should look something like this, and now let's go test fire it. If you guys liked the video, please remember to like and subscribe.